I hope you know the design I liaise with uh, the customer, uh, the family, the funeral director, um, the crematorium or wherever the burial site might be. What we tend to do is, is we get photographs or pictures from family or off the internet and we work from that. It's just a case of scaling it down, making sure that all the right bits are in the right place. You know, you have to just look at something and work it out. Say, yeah, that's got, to, that's got to hold a body, that's got to hold ashes. The way forward is once we've got a photograph or a picture of what we're doing, then we can scale it down. So we need to know body size so that it fits. We need to know if it's going to be buried or cremated. So if it's buried, we need to know, is it a new grave, grave site, or is it an old grave being reopened? Where the grave is, whether it's curbside or is it in the middle of a plot, you know, because of you extending the length or the width can it be done that sort of thing so we need to know those information we need to know mode of transport so that we know it fits we need to know is it going into church or what doors it may be going into or is it going home so this is a, it sounds difficult but it's not there's a little bit of work I have to do and when I've got all that compiled then we can start to think about the, the, the project that we've got to do when we come to cars Rolls Royce and things like that they can be difficult because they're so intricate and so much work, so much shaping to do. You know, you've got to you've got to make formers so that you can get the arc, you know, arcs in all the work, you know. So yeah, that's tricky. Skips are easy, football boots are easy, but cars can be difficult, as can be boats. I love the canal boat. I've never been on a canal boat. I think there's something serene about sailing down a canal. Peace, quiet. I think it fits in with the funeral. I think this company has been very fortunate. I mean, we've been in, in one guise or another going 160 years um, in traditional coffins. So I think sort of 15-ish more years ago to um, for someone to ring up and say, can we make an aeroplane for them um, was a challenge. But a challenge I think this company needed. Um, we don't do a lot of the alternative material coffins like wicker, cardboard. So to do something that we do, it's a phenomenon. Because no one else does it. I don't think there's anyone really interested in doing what we do. I wouldn't say we make much money out of it. I mean if that's all we did, you wouldn't be sitting talking to me today. But it's just a fantastic experience and, and such a worthwhile thing to do. We're a small family business, a very small family business here in Bulwark, of all places. You know, we're not in Italy, we're not in France. You know, we're not in the, we're not in London. And we're in Bulwark, in Nottingham. So to be in the centre of this phenomenon of crazy coffins, this phenomenon of crazy coffins, is taking us all over. I think I've been so lucky to be part of it, really lucky, um, yeah, and I hope it continues.